gives us all the news about Apple star Stephen when we lost the dear Steve Jobs last week. Over to you, Jacob. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mark, uh, and uh, good day to you. Uh, how, how have you? How are you t- today, uh, Mark? I'm okayish. Headache or? I'm okayish. Um, well, uh, I hope it is. Uh, make sure you drink plenty of water because uh, yeah, it'll be a big show, well, kind of. Anyway, um, first story of the day today. Um, we've heard it's been a big week for Apple. Um, no doubt about it. We finished off. Uh, we did out. We did our Mac Mania on Wednesday, which went for all the news of uh, the, all of um, that Apple event that happened on Tuesday. But then the next day there was uh, a very, very big thing that happened. Uh, Mark, do you want to tell us a bit about that? Yeah, um, well, I didn't know about it until I got a message on Facebook saying, do you want to do a live coverage on Mac I think, why do we need to say when I'm on YouTube and found out that we lost Steve Jobs? He died at the age of 65. 56. Um, from cancer. 56 it was. 56. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I watch tech shows, um, mostly on Twit. I watch This Week in Tech, and I also watch um, this Mac, Mac Break Weekly that's on there as well. Uh, all that breaking news as well. And um, they made a point. Of, I, they've made a point that um, Steve Jobs, um, you know, when he left, when he the first time he left Apple, which was when he got sacked from the company, Apple did start to fail, didn't they? Um, yeah. But then yep. Steve, Steve Jobs did come back. However, he has taken leave over the over the last ten uh, ten uh, so years, um, and they've still been able to just to um, you know they've still been able to um, you know succeed. And um, you know, thinking about this, I reckon they will go on um, just because you know I think um, they know you know I think now they can do it. If you know what I mean. He's just, he's just been a wonderful man. Uh, he started uh, Apple in his garage with Steve Wozniak, uh, the co-founder as well. Uh, they both found Apple to uh, bring out the, uh, I think it was the first Macintosh. Uh, can't remember what year it was. Uh, yeah, sorry, I can't really remember what year it was. But um, it's um, he's been extraordinary, and he will definitely be dearly missed. Uh, we've seen. Um, I don't know if you heard about this, uh, Mark, but. Um, uh, uh, Twitter has had the most tweets because of Steve Jobs' loss. Um, did you hear about that, Mark? Yeah, I did hear about that. Also, um, iPhone, the new iPhone for us, it's a, it's a record-breaking uh, pre-order ever because of Steve Jobs. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, definitely uh, a very... He's definitely, uh, definitely going to be dearly missed, like I said, and... Uh, yeah, it's um, it's very sad um, to see, but you know we should be celebrating the life of Steve Jobs, and I think uh, he has done some wonderful things. He bring out the iPod, which has just changed the whole. You know, it, it just changed. You know, you know, I, I can't really explain it. it just changed the uh, the world, I guess. And also the the laptops he bring out as well, the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro, and then what ha- What was in two thousand and ten? was uh, the iPad, and um, I actually was uh, sitting down having dinner the other day, uh, last night it was actually, um, by a matter of fact, and um, I, I sat down, I actually watched some of the uh, the iPad uh, when it was first announced, when the iPad 1 was announced, and um, it was really funny because he said um, that people think that the, uh, not a laptop, that you know, it's a netbook, 
uh, but netbooks don't do it. He said that netbooks are not good at anything, which I thought was really funny. Um, what, what's your what's your memory uh, of Steve Mark? Uh, like, what what do you think the memory is, Steve Mark? Uh, well, I don't know much know much about Steve because I've not had Apple products for long. It's only when I heard my first time I got into Apple and Network and so I've not only really known about Steve about three quarters of an inch thick. I'm going to show you the back first. And amazing what he created. Yeah, definitely. He's a uh, created a lot of stuff and um, I think um, we also owe it to Steve because we wouldn't be doing this show right now if it wasn't for him. We, we, I think we've definitely got to agree with that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I think we can all say, you know, we created the show but he actually did create the show in some way too, didn't he? Yeah, it's very true. Without Steve, without Apple, we would, there would be no iPod, no. iPad, no anything. No, and um, um Apple is one of the biggest leading computer networks ever. I hope to get a Mac. Yes, yes. Now, um, let's just discuss. Uh, we're still on the topic of Steve Jobs. I was um, reading. Uh, I was very, very. Um, I was actually thinking this the other day. Will they bring out a Steve Jobs movie? And um, it's reported by Mac Hash that Sony Pictures and Entertainment has brought the rights to make a movie on Steve Jobs' life. Uh, what do you think of that, Mark? That sounds. Um, Interesting. I've not heard that, but it sounds interesting. So, um, yeah. You would think that uh, there will be a movie. Someone will make yeah. a movie on uh, Steve Jobs because. Uh, yeah, and probably really interesting as well. What what happened in the beginning? What we don't know, and how it all formed with Apple and Macintosh and Mac, and how it all happens. And it'll probably be really interesting. Definitely, definitely, and. Um, mm. I think um, we've seen we've seen uh, we've seen movies on um, you know Michael Jackson for Michael Jackson for example we saw a movie on him uh, I didn't see it but um, we, you know he when he died there was a movie he died yeah yeah when he died I never saw yeah I never I never saw it either but um, now very you know I think there will be a movie I uh, don't know who will be uh, who will be doing it though but it, it's reported here that Sony Pictures Entertainment has brought the rights so it could be made by them and um, you know we could have people you know obviously it will be interviews and that probably uh, you know to to make the movie successful um, would you like to see a movie Mark? Yeah it would be really interesting because hopefully if there is a movie I'll probably try and get up and I'll probably have a look at it because I'll be interested in what Mm. other things he made that we don't know of and then we can give you more information on Mac Mania and let you know what he did when in the beginning how he started off. It's gonna be much different than a um it's gonna be much different than just a YouTube video, isn't it? It's just gonna be yeah. much different. Um it's gonna be you know nothing like a YouTube video, you know. People mm. make YouTube videos of, you know, Steve Jobs' life, but that you know, there could be secrets, couldn't there? Um, and one of the guys. Well, I've um, seen, yeah, I don't know if you noticed with Twitter, I've seen pictures of people saying pictures where people put like memories, like big sticky notes and apples and flowers outside apple stores all over the world, which I think is really nice. Yes, it definitely is. Uh, definitely is. Yeah, definitely is. Um, Mark, do you just want to go for uh, just a bit about um, what, how Apple started, how he, how he started it? He originally started in his um, home garage with, I don't know, a co-worker. Steve was in the academy. Yeah, yeah. Macintosh. Which is still alive. Um, can I, sorry, I just interrupted you there for a mark, minute, Mark. But I, I actually, I said about, I, I didn't actually know, I don't know much about Steve Wozniak. And I did put to the test um, if he was alive. We both didn't know, but he actually is. He spoke about Steve Jobs' death. He got interviewed by, uh, I can't remember what it was, the Channel 4 or something, but... Um, um, but anyway, go uh, on. Go on. What was your say, Mark? Started up in his own garage with Steve. Uh, what was he saying again? Wozniak. Wozniak. Yes. And made Macintosh originally, and then they got Apple, and then they got their own business, and then Steve got fired from his own company, so he didn't think he was good enough. And then Steve brought up Pixelax with the Toy Story maker. He was rehired from Apple again because they do fired him. And then it went from on, went on from there. Steve made the new iPhone, the iPhone ever and they've never seen before. iPads, iPods, mm. iTunes. And it was one way where you can actually buy your music online for iTunes, which is really good. 
whatever. Yeah, that was through Twitter, through Google, through the news, everything. I just last week, unfortunately, he died. He did. Yes. That was big news as well. Very big news. And yeah, very big news indeed. Um, now, um, I just thought it might have been just, you know, a bit of a pro appropriate uh, to play a bit of a video. I've just got on uh, the screen here. This is when the iPad was released. Uh, no, not released, announced by uh, former CEO Steve Jobs who passed away. I'm um, sorry, there's something coming up on my screen here. We'll just wait for that to, uh, to load. But um, that was really a big event, wasn't it? That the, with this iPad was announced, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry, sorry, um, this thing's just opening up on me, uh, it won't, it won't come, oh, here we go, it's come up now, but, um, I will just play in a minute, uh, I've looked, I looked some of, I was looking last night some of the old keynotes, and, you know, uh, um, you know, different things, and, um, you know, it just seemed to be a skinny and skinny old time, so that's how bad the cancer was. Which is, it's sad. So, um, I will, uh, I will just play. Sorry, my computer. <laughs> there we go, I'll just uh, put it on now. Uh, here it is, this is the, uh, the unveiling of the iPad. So this is what I see said, that the netbooks are not better at anything. That's what he just said. I think that's, I think that's funny, and that's a typical, that's a typical state. And so it just falls off uh, the, the letters. It's really, it's really good. That was the unveiling of the iPad, and we definitely will miss Steve, uh, Steve Jobs, 1955 to 2011. Uh, very sad, yep. very sad, and uh, we're gonna—he's gonna dearly be missed. I think we are definitely going to. Um, we, we're all gonna miss him. Anything you wanna you wanna say to finish off, Mark? that sure I thought uh, they've already had just a small funeral but I think it's just going to be a private funeral I'm pretty sure uh, there's just going to be just a little private funeral um, 
um, which I think is, is I think it's okay, but I'm, I'm not actually that 100% sure with the funeral. Do you know when it's happening? No. I'll have to find that out for next week. Um, anyway, I think we will move on now uh, from uh, from Steve, and I just want to say rest in peace, Steve, and um, thank you very much for uh, the devices, uh, especially this device, which helps me. It's just really great. I love the iPad as well. I'm a big fan of the Mac, even though I don't have one. And uh, thank you very much, Steve, for uh, getting a bit, well, being able to um, create such a show. Uh, we've created a show that's uh, out of your product, so um, we thank you. Uh, we thank you, Steve. Alright Mark, uh, All right. move on to uh, iOS 5. Yes, new iOS 5 was released on Wednesday. I, 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 sat, I sat on the couch, I was uh, looking at Mum and I said, I said, I can't wait till Wednesday. I can't wait till Wednesday. She's like, what's happening on Wednesday? And I'm like, iOS 5 is coming out. She didn't have a clue what I was saying. Uh, and I said, oh, it's the new um, software for uh, the iOS, uh, iPod Touch and, and stuff. This is that things on the internet, I don't know if you've seen it, but I was sent by Jacob um, MTV, that was, um, you can legally, illegally, download iOS without being I, uh, a partnership to Apple or something like that, which I don't really want to do. No, that, I, I, don't, I, don't I, I don't either. I just thought you might have been a bit interested, but um, no, I, I don't think that's the way to go. I know Tyson's iPhone Help is uh, a great channel and he does some great... But I think that's a bit too complicated to get an actual update. When you can just, on Wednesday, which is only two more days away, you can just plug your iPod Touch in, your, your iPhone or your iPad into the computer, update, bang, out. And I think that could... And that's going to be the last time you can update your uh, software on the computer. Is that right, uh, Mark? Yeah. You'll be the last time you actually don't have to have your iPod connected to your iPad, iPhone connected to the computer. Unless you still have Generation 1 or 2, which is so good. You don't have to have a computer with it. So come Wednesday, you don't have a computer, a laptop in your own home, and obviously you've got internet connection. You can go off to a store and buy yourself an iPad or an iPhone or an iPod, touch Generation 3 or 4, and connect to the internet without iOS. Yes, that's right. I really, really good. I really like that feature. I think that's really good, and I think uh, that Apple's just taking a next step to uh, their level. I think it's really great, and I think people these days want to buy an iPad and don't want a computer. And see, that has that's making you have a computer as well as an iPad. So they really are stepping it up a, yeah. a notch, which is really great, um, and uh, it's a great way to um, it's a great way. Um, um, iOS 5 will include, uh, include uh, the reminders. Uh, that's going to be a pretty uh, useful thing to use. Uh, how do you, you know, it's going to be good? Reminders, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be really yeah, reminders. yeah, I think there's nothing more uh, difficult than playing a game and then getting a, a notification. Uh, and, and you have to stop the game. And yeah, you just have to stop the game, and you just have to. Um, well, no, it stops the game, doesn't it? Sorry, I lost my uh, my mind. Yeah. But um, it stops the game, and uh, you then have to, you know, go back to a pause screen where you, it just it's just a little flash icon, and um, it just comes up, and then you just swipe uh, the reminders down when you want to, which is good. Yeah, that, uh, I think that's really good. And no, I definitely, yeah, definitely can't wait for that either. It's, it's going to be really great. Um, yeah, it's going to be really great. Um, iMessage as well, uh, very good, very, yeah. very good. That sounds good. Um, yeah, over Wi-Fi to anyone, to any iPod Touch, it's yeah. sensational. And um, it's going to work great, I reckon. It's going to be very popular. How do you, yeah. think, I, how do you think iMessage will work? What do you think of iMessage first, uh, Mark? I think it's really cool being an idea because people with iPods yep, can exactly. message each other without using Facebook or anything like that and um, it's a really good feature, you don't, it doesn't cost anything, so it's a bit like the Blackberry thing but everyone doesn't like, no one likes Blackberries. <laughs> um, yeah, well, um, I, think, I don't think anyone has actually created messaging for the phone that's actually free. I know there's app, apps app, apps for it. And, um, 
I know you can get apps for, you know, free apps, but they don't really work, do they? No. No, they don't at all. It's um, yeah, they don't they don't work at all, uh, which makes it uh, which makes those apps apps gay. Sorry to say, but uh, yeah. yeah. Um. Also, there's newsstand as well, which brings newspapers now to the iPad. Uh, you can't. I think I don't know if you can. You can get them on the iPod Touch as well, can't you? I'm pretty sure you can. I've seen on the interface. Uh, looking also, there is also Safari updates. There's also the camera. That's the probably uh, not a, not the biggest change, but it is one of the biggest changes. Yeah, I think um, the camera thing where when you guys unlock, you got a little camera button in the corner, which is all other people have got a camera in your iPod, but I don't have one on my iPod. Yeah. Which is really annoying. I really want a camera. I think it's going to be good for people uh, like I think it's. In my opinion, going to be good for users on the iPhone uh, 4, as well as the iPhone, uh, as well as the iPhone um, 4s. Um, it will be good for the iPod Touch 4G, but however, um, I don't think they really have a very good camera on this 4G. Um, you know, I, I find it useful. I, the, the the Steve Jobs video I did, I just did it from my iPod. Um, it, do you reckon it was good quality, Mark? Did you watch? It was all right. Uh I saw it. I am panicked. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I don't know. It's it's um, it's not that bad, I guess. But um, I, you know, it it uh, you know, you can take pictures on this, which is good. Um, it's good to have a camera on on the iPod Touch. Um, I think that's really all. It's also PC free. That's one thing. Yeah, it's good. Oh, and also reminders as well. Reminders are there, and we forgot to also mention Twitter. Explain that, Mark. Sign into Twitter and signs in everywhere else, which is good. Hmm. Yeah, very good. Very good indeed. Um, always annoys me when I'm in the middle of a game and they've got a pop-up notification from Facebook or Twitter and it's yeah. really frustrating. Um, also a new photo photo, just having a look here, and enhancement photo uh in instrumentments. Uh, so you can turn your snapshots into frame-worthy photos in just a few taps, which is very, very good. Uh, looking also on some other updates as well. This is on the Apple website. There's also Safari as well, and also PC Free. We mentioned that, which is going to be sensational. And then there's also some other Wi-Fi Sync. Uh, mm, there's all these other updates as well. It's just going to be uh, very good. And uh, really can't wait for that uh, that update. Um, and uh, we also need to mention also about iCloud, which is also coming out on Wednesday. Which also is another thing we can look forward to. I'm not sure about iCloud at the moment. I like it. I think it's good. Um, I the thing is, if you buy music from a shop on CD and you put it in the cloud, you've got to pay to keep it in the cloud. But if you buy music from iTunes, you don't. Or, or if you get, yeah. or if you get app, or if you get apps or um, iBooks, uh, music. Um, I already mentioned that. Uh, also, yeah, all those others uh, as well. They back them up in the, in the cloud, and that's uh, it's handy. You know, it's, I think it's really good. Um, the cloud is free. Yeah. You want to pay music in it, and I've got to be right back. My phone's ringing. Yep. All right. Okay. So yeah, Mark's taking a bit of a break there, but um. Anyway, I will explain just iCloud as well while we're, while we're um, waiting for Mark to return. Um, it's it's great, and um, I know uh, it does pay. I will just make that clear. It does it does cost for um, you know backing up songs that you do not get from Apple or backing up anything that you don't get from Apple. Um, but it is really, but you know, it, it's it's good. It's it's worth it. It's free. Uh, if, if you, anything you get, I know it, well, each and every one of you should have this. You can't tell me that you don't get apps on this thing. Um, I find this really good for gaming. That's the only thing I find this really good. I find it good for music as well, but I also find it really good for browsing the web. This iPod Touch. So um, you're definitely going to find it interesting. So iCloud definitely coming out on the, on on Wednesday, the 12th of October. Can't wait at all, and um, I definitely can't wait for iOS 5 as well. We will wait for Mark to return uh, to the show. <laughs> he left us. 
While I'm waiting for him, I will mention uh, MacHash, and just once again, uh, MacHash lets you. Uh, MacHash is a free app for the iPod Touch. It's also got a website as well, and it lets you. Um, it, it it keeps you up to date with all the uh, the Apple news. Um, it's great, and um, it's free from the apps App Store. On if you go to um, uh, if you go to um, the uh, the App Store and go type in MacHash, then you will uh, you will find it. So that's MacHash, and we will just wait for Mark to return to the show. to cut this bit out of this, the video. Wonder who's wonder who he's talking to. I've just uh, been waiting. I, I did a mention on MacHash while I was waiting for waiting. I finished also off on iOS 5 and iCloud. Uh, do you want to go on to uh, we? Do you want to go on to the iPod Touch uh, next? I, I've got a bit of iPod um, Touch White. Yes. Yes. Um. Yeah. That, um, as you know, there is an iPhone White out, which was released about four months, five months ago. No, it's going to be an iPod. In white, which I'm like, it's Chinese in a minute. I thought it might look, it would be look really cool. Oh, I think it does. It would have been good, good and I can't wait. I don't know if you can see the picture on the screen here, but this is an absolute beautiful, I think, in white. Bloody hell, it does. And uh, just flicking through the photos here, just that's comparing to the black to the white. Um, I, I do still like the black, however, I do like the white as well. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Looks nice and bright, and um, maybe my next yeah, iPod. I think I will get it. I don't think I'll get it. No, I, I, if you want to get a 4G, um, then yeah. They, you know, if you want to get a 4G, then get you know, if you want to get the white or the black, uh, maybe my next uh, iPod Touch. If they bring out an iPod Touch 5, uh, then I will get a. Um, I am planning on getting the 4G. I will get the white. Get the most expensive, but hopefully by next year yeah. it will come down. Oh, again, I, be a new iPod I'm now. planning to buy every single iPod Touch that comes out because I'm just a big fan of iPod Touch. I really am. They are just a wonderful devices, and I was just saying before the I was just saying before the break um, about uh, before you left. Uh, no, when you left uh, iCloud, and um, you know if you've got one of these devices, these are really great devices because I I don't really take this as a really a, a big music device. I take this as a gaming device. Um, I like to play app apps on here. I like to I like to uh, you know maybe take photos if I want to. It's just my personal phone, but not an actual phone. Well, it soon will be a phone with iMessage. It's just great. Yeah. It's just uh, I, I know you would probably you'd probably like your iPod Touch as well, uh, Mark. Yeah, I use it for more than get more for games. Than yeah. Music. Yeah, and I've I've um I've said to Dad um I've, I've actually said to Dad that I was thinking because. Uh, I was thinking of getting myself an, one of those little iPod Nanos for music uh, because I like to run around, I play football and uh, you know before a game I'd like to you know listen to music. This iPod Touch it doesn't really, you don't have really anywhere to put it because the shorts we wear we don't have uh, pockets or anything in them so you know you can't really, like you can put it down your shorts but they'll fall down uh, down them so that you know really I, I take this as more of a gaming device and it's a great gaming device. It's, I think it's better than the Nintendo DSi, I've got the Nintendo DSi and um, this is probably better, I reckon. Uh, more better, and you can just, you know, it's great. I use mine for gaming a lot. And people said to me, why don't you bring your iPod to college when you don't listen to music? And I actually use it to play my games. Yeah. Because I don't have the iPod Touch for gaming. Yeah. Because I don't use it for gaming. I also use it for, you know, Facebook and browsing the web also. It's good for, as yeah. you know, my, you know. You know, it's great. And, um, you know, definitely imagine the iPad. Uh, it's being even more great, you know, being able to carry around an iPad. Anyway, Mark, uh, we'll leave that uh, now and go on to uh, Siri and the iPhone 4S. Uh, I, I actually said last, I actually said last week. I remember I said Shirley. It's not Shirley. It's Siri. Siri, yeah. 
got the name now. Yeah. Just looking at the demos of it, it's just gore, it's just great. Really is. See, with that thing, the next of phones, you don't even need to the buttons, there'll be no buttons. You just say tech, bulb, yeah. and hire up there, boom, and. Well, I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be, um, in my opinion, the first ever speech recognition which it actually understands you because, um, hang on. I'm going to get my phone here, um. By the way, I've got an Android, uh, an Android phone, Motorola Defy. Um, now I'm going to go into Google at today. I'm, I'm going to go into Google. Uh, here it is. Here I'm just going to go into my browser. Um, I'm just going to go in. I'm just going to. Um, I'm just going to press this little microphone up in the corner here. I'm just going to say something. Hang on, I don't know what to say. What, what should I say? Um, I, I search, search something on Google. Facebook for mobile. We'll see if this works. And see, it's taking a while to load. That's the thing. It's taking a while to load, uh, and um, sometimes it won't even understand you. Uh, this phone, uh, we can put this away now. This phone, I don't use it that, that much, but I reckon this is going to be the first one that actually understands you more. You can get computers, you can try and computers to understand your way. But it's really hard and I tried to do it and um, failed. Mm. You didn't understand me at all. And I understand little things like closed browser and I should say that because it's my closed browser. But you don't open, understand open star or anything like that. So it, it doesn't really work on the computer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, I think this will be definitely, uh, you know, um, let's talk about Siri uh, in general. Should it be on iOS 5? Um, what do you think, yes. Mark? Yes, it should be on iOS 5. I'm really disappointed when I heard it work on iOS 5. Well, actually, so they, didn't, be, they didn't really say, did they? Um, watching the event, uh, no. listening to it, they didn't really say if Siri was on iOS 5 or not. So, really, no one knows. Hey. They just they said it was that. I just said it was on iPhone 4S and that was it. I've got a problem. I um, haven't got a microphone for my iPod, so I needed some headphones and a mic. So I want Siri. Ah, on yes. My yes. Well, that's probably a, a reason why. Or I reckon if it's not on there, the reason why it could be it's only compatible with the i5, the A5 chip, but however, they could put it on the iPad 2 because the iPad 2 has the, the A5 chip. Which is uh, in the new iPhone 4S, um, hey. which I heard it's uh, it's named iPhone 4 Steve, which I I, I think that's the case. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it is the case. I'm pretty sure, but um, anyway, um, yeah, I, you you don't know, you don't know, I don't really know really. Could be many different reasons. But they didn't really say though. That's the thing they should have said. Don't you think? Yeah. So, uh, iPhone 4S, you can pre-order it now. It's uh, got the dual-core A5 uh, chip. Uh, looking on the uh, the net, looking on the Apple website here, it's uh, got all the details. You can pre-order it for your uh, for uh, like, yeah for for your mobile uh, company you have. It's got the all no new AMP camera. And yeah, it's got a new camera, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah, which is really good. You're gonna just you know this not gonna, you're just probably gonna be one of the best cameras. Comes with iOS 5 and iCloud and introducing Siri. It's the most amazing iPhone yet. Do you believe that, Mark? Yep, it's amazing. So that's pre-ordering now. It's uh, seven from seventy-nine dollars Australian. I don't think that's right. I think that's for prepaid. I think that's for probably like prepaid or something if you want to buy it unlocked. But um, let's go through. I just want to go through the iPhone 3 GS. You can. The iPhone 3G you can get for free now on a contract, and uh, yep. the iPhone 4 you can get for $99 on a contract. So that's pretty good. So you can you can get that. All right. Well, I think that does uh, all the Apple news for this week. Uh, we went through Steve uh, Jobs, uh, all the iOS 5 and iCloud news, iPhone 4s, Siri, and the iPod Touch. I think that's about do it. Do you want anything else, Mark? Or 
think of anything. No, I can't think of anything either. All right, well, uh, let's get on with the app of the week. And we are doing a double app of the week this week because last week we missed out because it was such a big show. It went for ages and uh, it took us an hour to set it all up. So, yes. um, app of the week for you, Mark, uh, your two uh, apps of the I week. I can't show you because my iPhone is charging. It is cross fingers where you have to move puzzles. And you're very sensitive and if you heard of it. It was free for a couple of days and I got it when it was free. I over those ninety nine P. You've got to try and fit all these blocks into together a bit. And it can't be quite easy and hard. I will be doing an app review on it um, on YouTube later on soon, hopefully sometime this week about it and it's really good, fun, hard to keep someone playing every night. I'm not up on uh, card game, Solitaire, I like playing a bit of Solitaire, it's a fun game and um, it's fun to play a game when you have nothing to do and have a little card game. Hmm. So, uh, Solitaire and uh, Cross Fingers was your two apps of the week you'd go download them. Was Cross Fingers uh, free or? I heard, I heard it you was missed... free. Okay. It was free for um, a few days uh, last week. And now it's gone up to 99p. Okay, well, that's, that's fair enough. Um, what about Solitaire? Is that free? Yes, it is free. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Mark, uh, for your app of the week. Two app of the weeks. Uh, now, uh, Macash is my first app of the week. Um, yeah, we've mentioned this uh, at the start of the um, of the show, but I think it's appropriate. I think it's. Uh, I think I should go into a bit more detail on what Macash is. Um, I know we we said that it's a news app, but it's based on Macash is on the uh, the internet as well as well as the app, and uh, it gives you all the Apple news. Uh, let me just get it up on the the app the news here now. The thing is, is that when you open up the app, it will come up with all the latest news. Well, it should do. Um, if it, if not, you just scroll it and then it'll update it. But um, that is the display. I think no, that's not. No, hang on. That's the setup. I just, that's a really good setup. Yeah. And um, you can just scroll through, pick each article, and just read it. Um, it's really great, and that's how we do our show. Um, I don't know, do you get your, your news from uh, Macash, Mark, or, oh, no, I don't. I don't, I use, um, what is it? I don't use Macash. Yep. I use MBN, uh, Mac Daily News, which I get a pop-up notification every half an hour, so new news and stuff. I am up for ages, but it just pop up every so often, saying so there's news and stuff like that. Mm. Right. So, uh, Macash is my first app. It's free from the App Store. Um, now, I'm going to show you a paid version. I think I'm ready to um, show you this app. Uh, it came out a few a few weeks ago now. A couple of weeks ago, I showed you FIFA 11. Um, remember that, Mark? I showed you FIFA 11. Uh, I said that it's a well worth game. It was like six bucks or something, and it's well worth to pay for. EA Games has now brought out a new FIFA because it's a new year. And they have bring out FIFA 12, and Jesus Christ, it is bloody awesome! I tell you that. I'm not going to show you it this week. I will, however, show you eventually. But it has all new manager mode now. Uh, it's very great. You can now save replay. So, so if you say you kick a goal, and you love, you love it. You want to save it in your in your replays. Well, you can. And um, it's also got. You can also have an. You now have an account now. You can make an account on Origin and do daily challenges which is really great um, you can unlock stuff it's just brilliant it's just brilliant display commentators um, Andy Townsend and Clyde Telsley and it's just a great game uh, I think it's about seven bucks it is a brilliant game it's well worth getting I know seven bucks is a dear uh, for an app but it's just great it's well worth getting and I will do a review later on um, because it's just a great app. So uh, FIFA 12 for me, which is seven bucks, and Macash is free. So those are my two apps for the week. Oh, and by the way, um, yeah, FIFA 12 also is that you can you can get it from the App Store, and it's also for iPad. Uh, I forgot to mention that as well. It's also for iPad. So they are my, they are my app of the week's mark. Yes, 
uh, yep, you can, uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, it's time to wrap up the show now, but, um, yeah, what a, what a show, uh, Mark, do you want to go first with all your links? I'll try and put it up on the banner uh, here. Sure, you can find me all that YouTube twice, um, Twitter, I'm trying to put the Twitter up. What was the Twitter? Mark94UK. So Mark Knight UK. 94. What was it again, sorry? Mark 94 UK. Ah yep, yeah, 94UK. Sorry, I was just trying to put it on the, the banner there. Keep going. That is your links, Mark, from the Mr. Mark UK One channel, a great channel, um, full of uh, full of everything. Yeah, new videos coming soon, hopefully. I'm waiting to do pack reviews on their uh, random videos, new reviews, and I like to do stuff like Instagram videos on there. Let's mm. the play coming soon. Yeah, so in a month's time, in a month's time, my new show. Right, so okay, thank you very much, Mark, uh, for your commitment to the show today. Um, and yeah, we know you you haven't been you had you haven't feeling well today, um, but you come on and do the show anyway, which is really great. So thank you very much, Mark. And I'll, I'll go through my links in just a second. I just want to mention, by the way, guys, um, I'll just put the the logo up. Um, I don't know. If, hang on, I'll turn the banner off because uh, you can't see, but. Um, you can see uh, this. Is, I, I did post on the Mac Mania website that we uh, we updated the logo. It's not really updated much. It's just uh, something down on the left corner. Do you know what that is, Mark? Yeah, the phone thing. Yeah, the new Bev TV logo. I had to update it because uh, you know don't want the old don't want the old one on there. But um, <clears throat> what do you think of it, Mark? By the way, the the new logo designed by yeah. myself and uh, a guy named Patrick. Very good, uh, very good logo. Do you, would do you like it? Yeah, good. Um, how did you make it? How did I make it? Yeah. Adobe uh, Fireworks. I got the, uh, the 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 phone is the Motorola Defy, which uh, the uh, which is the phone I have, uh, which is that that phone right. there. And um, I'll show you it. It was made in Adobe Fireworks. Uh, you can see inside the phone there is um. The Bev TV, it's, it's similar to the old logo, but you know, more different and you know, better. Oh, yeah. And up the top, there is a Motorola uh, in words. We replaced that with Bev TV. It's, uh, I think it's really great. I love the, the, love the new logo. Um, so that's what's yeah. changed. Um, <coughs> I was wondering, in the picture, in the, the IMAX screen, you can make a picture of me or something like that? Yeah, I did. I did do that. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the, uh, the logo is now, to tell you the truth. <coughs> But anyway, we we can do that though. Uh, you know, I, I did I did make one uh, with a picture of you and me in the splitter in like a cartoon kind of style. So maybe we might we might we might, we might try that one time. Um, anyway, my links uh, facebookcom slash bevtv uh, one. Sorry, facebookcom slash bevtv. Uh, YouTube.com uh, slash bevtv one. That's right. And uh, also find me on Blog TV, uh, Blog TV bevtv at blogtv.com slash people slash bevob55. Uh, a Twitter uh, at bevob5. And um, you can also find the MacMania page at facebook.com slash macmania71. Twitter is at macmania71. Is that right, Mark? Right. Was it? Uh, at, at, at Was it, was it, um, but it was Mark, was, uh, Mac Mania 71 was on Twitter, wasn't it? Yeah, Mac Mania 71. Right, okay, right, so that's good. And also the email, which I believe it's macmania71 at gmail.com? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll yeah, take you right. there. Right. I haven't checked that for a while. Sorry? I haven't checked that while for a while. Have you checked it? Uh, no. No, I, I doubt we'll be getting... I, well, I don't know if we'll be getting any emails. Hopefully we will. But if you want to email us uh, and, you know, put in a suggestion or something, we will... I will check it later on. Um, maybe you can check it later in the day, Mark, for me. I'll, I'll, I'm going to go to bed soon anyway, but, um, you know, maybe you can check it. Um, but anyway, I think that's all for my links. Uh, Mark, once again, uh, it's been a pleasure doing the show with you once again. I, I saved me running around doing the, um, doing the, um, finding a, a, a guest host. That's fine. So, also, um, next week on Monday, I've got a bit of a problem. I put driving at 11. Yep. So we might have to move the show. Yeah, Tuesday is say. Tuesday fine. So look at Tuesday for the live show. All right, so Tuesday or even could be Wednesday. Uh, no, I don't doubt, doubt it's going to be Wednesday. Uh, probably Tuesday. But um, anyway, thank you very much, Mark, once again for doing the show. It's been great. So the show just keeps on progressing, and I want to say that we are no longer doing the show in parts. Which is really good. Um, thank you very much to YouTube for giving me the uh, the the, um, the the pleasure to upload more than 15 minutes of video. So it just saves me. All I got to do now is just put the intro in. Maybe I might cut that bit out where you went, and then off I go. Uh, upload to YouTube with the description, and there we go. So much easier. So much easier. Yeah, makes my day uh, much easier. Thanks very much, Mark.